For me, there has always been an air of mystery about Snowdonia, a feeling I had long before my first visit, and I wasn't disappointed. Enclosed on two sides by water, this mountainous landscape is at the mercy of gales radiating out from the Irish Sea, and it is this single factor that makes photography of this area fascinating and a joy. I live 250 miles from Snowdonia, therefore photography can only be conducted occasionally. The nearest I get to living in the area is to stay overnight at a hotel, preferably for a week. Otherwise, when the magic happens, I am sitting at home in Surrey, south of London, having to content myself with what could have been. For twenty-five years I organised photographic holidays for HF holidays, and many of this selection were taken when I led from their hotels at Conwy, Bethgellert and Dogesley. Most pictures were taken in front of my students to demonstrate what can be achieved, and a few on my day off. Ah, hello! Planning my next tour of uh, Snowdonia. Always use the Ordnance Survey maps for that uh, purpose. Now, for this tour, I'm going to start in the southern part of the National Park, not far from uh, Tadda Idris, at the Talachlin Railway. And then we move northwards, right up to Cum Idwell, a valley enclosed by the Glitters and Triven. And on the way we shall pass Snowdon, of course, and other places like Harlick Castle, and see morning mist at Beth Gullet, and we're going to finish the tour in this program in a slightly quieter valley off the, the main Conway Valley itself, Hlyn Craftnet. Lovely place, good pictures, see what you think. It's just coming up now. 